Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about how to divide fractions, so let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to use the letters A, B, C, and D to show you the rule. So let's say that I've got A over B divided by C over D. Well here's what the rule says to do. You've got A over B times, so watch this, D over C, and then this is going to equal AD over BC. Now, what I want you to do for a second is I just want you to think about how can we describe this simply. So looking at this without the letters, just what is actually happening here visually? You might even want to pause the video just to, to think about it for a second. So how can we describe this simply? Well, we could say that you really flip the second fraction and then you multiply straight across. Or some people might say multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm flipping this fraction here, as you can see, and then I just multiply straight across, and I've covered how to multiply fractions in another video. Now, here's my other question. Is a common denominator required? Was that mentioned at all in this? No, no it was not. So this is again pretty straightforward because we don't have to worry about the denominator. So thinking about just a, a nice basic example, putting this into practice, I've got 2 thirds divided by 5 sevenths. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is take 2 thirds times, so flip the second fraction. So rewrite it like this, 7 over 5, and now I can just multiply straight across. So I'll take 2 times 7, and I'll take 3 times 5, so I get 14 over 15 like so. Okay, so that's the idea. I want to you to pause the video for a moment, try these two, hit play when you're ready. Okay. So the thing to remember about both of these is that for these whole numbers, you can actually write them as a fraction over 1, as shown, and that's going to help with the rest of this process then. So for b here, I will take 2 fifths, and I will flip this now to 1 third. So now it's like this, 2 times 1 is 2, 5 times 3 is 15, so we're good to go there. Now for 7, or, or for, for c, blah blah. Uh, 7 times, so 7 over 1 times 3 over 2. There, now I've got it all right. Okay, so now if I multiply straight across, this becomes 21 over 2. And, you know, if you wanted to actually write this out as a mixed number, so how many times does 2 go into 21 evenly? It goes in evenly um, 10 times with a remainder of 1, and then you just put that remainder over the denominator as shown. And I've actually talked about how to do this um, in, in another video as well. Okay, now, just a note here. You can cancel out common factors, but you can only do this after you turn the problem into multiplication. So here's some examples of what I mean by this. I've got 15 over 16 divided by 9 over 14. The first thing that I want to do before anything else is just flip the second fraction like this. So this becomes 14 over 9. And now, as you look at this, you might notice some cancellations. And I talked about in my multiplying fractions video more, more about how to do cancellations. But looking at this, so between the 15 and the 9, I can divide both of those by 3. So divide by 3, divide by 3. And then between the 16 and the 14, I can divide by 2. So let's see. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Okay, so then this is going to give me 5 over 8 times 7 over 3, and now I can multiply straight across. So this will become 35 over 24, and now we're done. If you want to see more examples of how I did this, I highly recommend checking out my multiplying fractions video, because I go through this at kind of a, a more drawn out pace. Okay, so for B here, I'm going to rewrite this as 20 over 1 times 5 over 4. Now notice why this matters. If I tried to make a cancellation here, I would wrongly cancel out the 5 if I tried to do it at this step, right? Because now you can see when I've actually written this out and flipped the second fraction, what I should be canceling out is the 4 and the 20. Those two things can be canceled out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to divide this by 4 and I'm going to divide this by 4, like so. And so this is going to leave me with 5 over 1 times 5 over 1, and so this actually will just equal 25 over 1, which you should just write as 25. You don't want to leave it as over 1. Always put it back in that um, whole number format if you can. Okay, so if you feel like you've got it, I've got two maybe kind of trickier ones here. You can pause, try these, and then hit play when you're ready to see the solution. 
Okay, so for C, the first thing that I've got to do is I've got to rewrite four and a half as a improper fraction. So I'm going to take four times two, which is eight plus one. So that's going to be nine. So this is going to be rewritten as nine over two. And oops, I, this should still be division, my bad, like this. Okay, so this is now six sevenths divided by this four and a half becomes nine over two. Now I can flip the second fraction. So this becomes six over seven times two over nine. And now that I'm looking at this, I can see that between the six and the nine, I can divide both by three. So I'll divide this by three and I'll divide this by three. And so this will be two over seven times two over three. So this will equal four over 21. Now, if you went a slightly different route, but ultimately got the four over 21, that's totally fine. And again, that's something that I talk about in my multiplying fractions video, just how you can take a couple different routes to get to the same answer. So as long as you're getting to four over 21, you're, you're good to go. Okay, so D. This one's gonna be 24 over 65 times 70 over 28. All right, so between the 65 and the 70, I can divide both of those by five. So I'll go ahead and write that out like this. And then between the 24 and the 28, those are both divisible by four. So let's go ahead and do all of this division. So 24 divided by four is six. 65 divided by five is 13. 70 divided by five is 14. And 28 divided by four is seven. So now, looking through all of this, there's nothing else that I can cancel out. So I'm just gonna multiply straight across. Six times 14 is 84. And 13 times seven is 91, so there we are, we're done. So that's the idea behind multiplying and dividing fractions. I've done that now in, in two different videos. Um, if you go on to other videos and you're looking for other processes, I, I break out lots of other things with fractions. But if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line um, right under the video, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.